All right, so we are about 175 miles out, four hours and 30 minutes until we get there. And uh, we're still trying to rush down there, delivering the 43,000 pounds of uh, home accessories to Prim at the Wahlberg. And uh, we're gonna get about $12,000. Uh, we did hit a railroad crossing uh, a while back because my brakes were uh, not set up the way they should have been. And I could not come to a complete stop fast enough. So we have 20% damage on the truck, which sucks because this truck has 400 miles on it. So it's pretty much brand new. 4% damage on the trailer, which is gonna come out of the pay. So we're probably gonna get about 12, uh, maybe 10,000. Um, but there is another run down in Prim that I'm trying to get to, to take up to Reading. It's a, uh, it's a trailer full of dynamite, I believe. It was a really nice run, $20,000, um, which is pretty pricey. So we're going to try to get down there as fast as we can to get that load. Um, we had ha we have had some issues like be, uh, <laughs> running into that sign and everything and then having to deal with the truck after that. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get down there fast enough to get that load. But if we are, we're going to take it. If not, then uh, we're going to do a little quick little check and see what we can do about it. So we're trying to rush while we can out here drive you know a little bit quick don't want to go too fast but we're trying to get through all this to get down to that uh drop off point pretty quickly so um also i did see some people commented about the uh my microphone situation and i know you're just trying to help out i do appreciate it um but some people were saying why don't i just get like a boom or something to get the microphone out of my face well because the way this microphone works it is you would it would still have to technically be in your face the the stand would be completely out of the way and it would reach fine and everything but the microphone would still be right in your face um so i want to kind of eliminate that and the best way i can eliminate that is just by getting some sort of headset and also the microphone i have now it's not a top quality microphone it's a pretty average microphone and the ones that come in the headsets are about the same uh microphones are you know, at a certain price range are all about the same. It just depends on looks and, you know, abilities, stuff like that, you know. So, some people were saying I should just get a boom or something like that and it moves the mic so I can get it closer. And But it would still be in my face, which would be, still be a problem. And uh, also, if I were to get this headset microphone, um, it would clean up a lot of things on my desk. It would clean up, one, my big microphone stand, which sits on my desk. Uh, can we get over? Oh, shit. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm glad that car didn't go. We were able to slow down enough, too, that we're not going to hit the back of this truck. Um, but it's going to get the massive microphone stand off my desk, which will be really nice. Um, it's also going to eliminate my Turtle Beach headset cables which are very very long and just in a big bundle and then also on that cable is the volume settings and all that so it's a very big thing just to sit there dude you are breaking like there's a baby on the road i don't know what you're doing but uh so i'd be able to get the 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 cables from my headset gone and my microphone stand gone and my mic out of my face and I'd pretty much have one cable going into a box, which would do audio and my mic, which would be fairly nice, to be honest. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. I know some people are just trying to help out, saying that I should get a boom or whatever, you know, maybe a different mic that can, like a, a dynamic mic I can set far away. I just don't have the equipment to be able to power something like that. So uh, I'm just going to go with a, the headset. It's been something that I've been looking at for a while, considering it, reading reviews, stuff like that. So... I think I'm going to go for it. If not, worst case scenario, I can just keep the mic the way it is. Maybe maybe then eventually get a boom if it turns out the headset mic just is not good enough. But obviously at that point, if it doesn't work out, I'm going to return it and try to figure out another solution. So it should work. It's all about, uh, it's not so much about the microphone. It's more about the EQ and the settings and all that stuff, the compression and the noise gate and all the stuff you do to a microphone that makes it sound good. So that is the real test it's not so much just the straight mic out of the box it's the uh what we can do eq wise to make it sound good so we'll see we'll see that's kind of what i'm i'm just kind of looking for a little bit more comfortable experience because 
you know, after multiple years of talking into a microphone that's right, that has to be right there, otherwise, because here's the difference. If I'm right here compared to back here, this is me being, I'm sitting all the way back in my chair. That's quite a difference in audio quality. And there's a lot more noise you can hear from just the world and it would just, it would not work out very well. So I think it's better just to get something that I can be a little bit more relaxed, not be so worried about having to talk into or look around a microphone, clean up some space on my desk, and uh, still have some pretty decent audio quality. So, I appreciate everybody throwing out suggestions. I really do. I just, uh, you know, I think I've already kind of decided what I want to do. So, um, but it looks like we're pulling up, which is good. Uh, it, there's also a repair station right here as well, which is very nice. So maybe we can uh, repair our truck as well. All right, let's start. No, we should be good. Oh, there is a car there. Oh, there's a van. Oh, uh, the van's gonna stop. Is that truck gonna stop? Yep, looks like it. Appreciate it. Okay, so actually, uh, let's just drop off the trailer first, and then we'll be concerned about uh. Then we'll be concerned about getting our uh, truck fixed because I want to make sure that we can get this load done as quick as possible. So that way we can uh, start looking for that other job and hopefully it'll still be here. That was very bumpy. Uh, yeah, so hopefully the next job will still be here, which is what I'm really looking forward to because that's a $20,000 run up to Redding, which is pretty good money. I don't think it was a very heavy trailer either. So to shut off having a little bit trouble starting there we go all right so whoop don't need to jake break in the parking lot uh where are we gonna put this thing we're putting it right between those two trailers so by the way this is something that i didn't mention real quick this is a new mod that I have. As you can see, there's two yellow lines on the ground, and then there's two little brick kind of parking lot stopper, wheel stopper things at the back. This is a new mod that eliminates that big green drop-off point and big green pickup point. Pretty much all those big green floaty points are pretty much gone with this mod. Uh, it's a very nice mod. It's linked in the description. It's just one those, those little that one little thing that... Uh, I think the truck died, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It's that one little thing that can, will take you out of, uh, you know, your... Oh, God. This is not going to happen, is it? We're going to have to do this blind, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to do it blind. Okay. Well, let's flip the truck around. We'll pull it right in there. Be careful for all these little boxes. But, yeah, so it's a really nice mod because it, it t doesn't take you out of, you know that you're because I want it to be more simulation than like a video game that's just me um so when you see something like big green floaty things on the ground it kind of takes away from it a little bit so it's just nice that that is there so you can just get rid of that too I know a lot of people don't like them um and I was one of them I wasn't a huge fan of them so I'm glad to see that you can swap them out. It's a very nice mod. Like I said, it'll be linked in the description. Okay. Let's see if we can do this blind. I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to. We're a little bit stuck here. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Check on that side, we're good. Keep an eye on the mirror. Keep an eye on that window, too. Gonna cut it more. Cut it more. Oh, God. When you lose where your wheels are in the mirror, that's what sucks. There we go. Okay. So let's start straightening this thing out. We're looking pretty good on this side. We're probably going to have to do one more here. Let's just, before we go any further, because I know we're going to need to do this. There we go. Alright, so in the mirrors, as you can see, I can kind of see everything, but this truck really eliminates the whole sticking your head out the window situation, unless you got a nice little turn like this. 
where then you can get the back of the trailer around. All right, so let's go ahead and stop there. Luckily, I can see my brake lights on that little yellow piece right there. Know how far back I am. Okay, we're good. But we should just be able to back this thing right in. Double check real quick. Yep, there we go. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll back it straight in. Keep an eye, you can see the brake lights on the trailer, the Walmart trailer. We're getting pretty close. So, one thing that I need to do now is I need to get out and I need to check to see if those are green, which they are not. So we need to come back a little bit further. Because I'll show you another thing that happens with this mod right about there, I'm thinking. Ooh, actually, our yellow doesn't quite match up to the... I think we're at, we might actually be good. Let me d double check. Might be touching the wall back there, maybe a little bit. Um, so as you can see, possibly, if I can get the right camera angle. Give me a second. Not wanting to... Let's go forward a little bit. Can I go get it if it's a little forward? This sucks. Uh, those little bricks on the ground back there will actually turn green. They'll, they'll have these two little stripes on it that'll turn green. Uh, which really help out with just letting you know that you're in the right spot. Which, it doesn't appear that we are in the right spot. So, back it up, drop it off, why is it not accepting the drop off, maybe I'm a little too far back, get rid of the parking brake so I can move, is that what it is, what's happening here? There we go. Okay, we got it. Satisfactory, unfortunately. We went 562 miles, took us 12 hours, 15 minutes. We consumed 900, I'm sorry, 109 gallons of fuel. 900 gallons of fuel, that'd be ridiculous. Like I said, we got 10,000. I thought so with the damage penalties of 4%. Uh, 421 XP, about to get to level 17, which will be pretty nice. But what I'm going to do real quick before we go repair our truck, which is definitely something we're going to need to do, I'm going to double check that this run, which expires in an hour, uh, is still available, which is, it is, which is very nice. So we can go and attempt to go pick up this load, which is what we're going to do right now. Parking brake off. Let's kind of book it a little bit. Just because I want to be able to get to this trailer. Because I would love to do this $20,000 run to Reading. It would be a very nice, uh... Very nice run. Very good money in it. That's a big bump every time. Check, check. I'm gonna roll through that stop sign because we're on a mission right now. We're also gonna have to turn into here really quick. Okay, didn't go into ninth. All right, so. Let's just go ahead and uh, repair our truck really quick. See how much this is going to be. $237. Actually, not that bad. <laughs> Pretty decent. Okay. So. Go ahead and get our reverse gauge back. Or our gear select what gear we're in back. That little gauge. Alright. So, now we need to cross like this busy-ass intersection. Which is really going to suck. Because traffic here will go for a long time. Which is very unfortunate. Oh, dude, there's not going to be a break at all. We're going to sit here for an hour. We're going to have to go for it. We are going to have to go for it. Wait for an opening and gun it. Luckily, we don't have a trailer. So we should be able to, after this truck, nope. After this truck. Ooh, ooh, we might have an opening. Go, 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 go. Going, going. Why is it not shifting? That was a terrible maneuver. Oh, God, we just caused all those people to slow down. Sorry. Oh, God, I am not a good trucker. Not a good trucker. 
Alright, it's a dead end, so we're gonna speed like crazy. That doesn't that logic doesn't apply, but I need to get this load. If we don't get this, we're gonna be stuck here. Not many loads come out of prime brim this place. Yeah, not many not many loads coming in and out of here, so when there's a good one, you gotta kinda jump on it. Alright. Alright, we made it. We have an hour and 15 minutes, so we didn't need to rush that much, but we did, because you never know. You never know. Okay. So, let's go pick up our trailer. We can take it easy now, get a little more realistic, because uh, we did go a little bit crazy. Because um, I was try I just really wanted to make sure. That's my plan. My plan was to come down here, grab this trailer, and... Uh... Oh, God, that's bad. I can't see. My plan was to come down here, grab this trailer, and we can go. But, uh... I had to make sure that I could get this trailer. Otherwise, that whole run all the way down here in the first place would have been kind of pointless. Then we would have been stuck down here, because like I said, not many trailers coming in, in, in and out of here. This thing is a lot harder to back in because of these pipes. These exhaust pipes, but I think we got it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yep. We're good. Good to head out. We're going to need to stop by, uh, get some diesel. A little bit low. About, uh, we're just below half a tank, but it's right down the street. It's on the way out, so we might as well just fill up while we can. 94 degrees outside. It's pretty hot. Okay. 94 degrees and 530. So, that's pretty warm. That's so if that was real life, that would really suck. Okay, but let's take a quick look at our load. Uh, we are hauling 33,000 pounds of potassium, which is uh, a little bit strange. But, uh, hey, it's going to pay us $19,982, and it is a 615-mile uh, trip to Reading. So, it's a pretty long trip. Luckily, I think I've done this trip quite often. If I can get to the LA area, I know that I can pretty much just jump onto the 5. As soon as I'm on the 5, I'll just head up north for a good amount of time. By the time I get up there, um, you just take a couple exits, and then we are done. So, not bad. It shouldn't be that bad of a run. We'll see, though. But we are going to need to pull in... And get some diesel, because I don't want to have to stop once we start going. We can do it in one shot. We just want to fill up first, especially because I believe we can only go 454 miles with our current tank of 80 gallons left. So go and fill up, and then we will head out on the road. <laughs> 